Hello everyone. This is Solaban. We're gonna do the next episode to Ryan. This uh, in this episode we're gonna kill all three mechanical bosses. I had recorded me fight them uh, uh, previously, but apparently Sony Vegas decided it would be a good idea to remove the video and just turn everything into a video into a sound file. I meant. So first off, we're gonna do the destroyer again. Ripping apart uh, pretty, uh, pretty fast uh, with a Terra Blade. And do quite a good bit of damage to him like that. He is not gonna last long as it looks. Oh, look at that. We're down to a measly 10,000. So much for Almighty Destroyer. That didn't take long at all. Anyways, next up is the Twins. Oh boy, I've always hated the twins. Especially spasmodism. He's most annoying if you're a melee character. But if you can tank a bit of damage, you can deal a good bit of pain to him. As like I said, he always tends to stay away from the player and shoot from a distance. Until he does the occasional charge then. It looks like we're gonna get spasmatism as our first kill. I'm gonna take that potion because I'm gonna need that. Alright, they start charging again. So, first, focus on spasmatism. He's gonna be more trouble than uh, the other one. Of course, he's gonna do the cursed flamethrower, and we're gonna dodge that. Then he's gonna, of course, start charging. A bit hard to dodge at times, but not that difficult overall. Oh, Retinizer no, just switched. Anyways, Spasmatism is out of the way, now we just take care of Retinizer. He's the easier one of the two to kill, but his machine guns can become quite a nuisance. And boom! Now they are gone. Next up, we're gonna do Skeletron Prime. It's gonna be a bit more difficult. I'll be back when I have enough uh, bones and souls of light and night. Be back soon. So last up is Skeletron Prime. Here we go. We don't have much time to fight this guy because... If daytime hits, he's gonna kill me instantly. He can actually one-hit kill me in daytime, so... Skeletron Prime is a really nasty guy, and he should not be taken as a joke. He's already dealing a lot of damage to me, already. As you guys can probably tell. Although we, and the Terrible Blade is quite a powerful weapon, and I'll admit that. But of course, don't try and tank as uh, tank the damage with hallowed armor. That's just not gonna work. It's a basic suicide recipe. Oh, we got his prime laser destroyed now, so it's gonna be less of an issue. He's gonna tr let's try and strike us with the with the wise, but we can easily dodge that. It's not too hard to dodge. All we gotta worry about now is taking out his uh, tougher limbs, like the saw, for example, that just hit me. Okay, alright, alright, okay, alright, let's do this. I'm totally not making references to Market Lara there. Okay, so you guys didn't notice I was being sarcastic. We well, nearly got all of his limbs already, and this is the powerful piercing properties of the Terra Blade. And there we go, all that's left of his now is just his head. His head, that's all that's left of Skeletron Prime. So much for Almighty and the mechanical boss. Look at that. He ain't nothing now. And there we go. These were all the mechanical bosses. Next up, Plantera. And once we get Plantera, we unlock the Jungle Temple, where we finish this Let's Play by killing the Golem.
So yeah, next up, Plantera. Alright, here we go. Let's unlock the jungle temple. First we throw that cobweb. Alright, here we go. Where's my arena? My arena is right over there. Where's Plantera? Where is Plantera? Or oh, yeah, Plantera. Oh, there's Plantera. All right, come at me, Plantera. I'm faster than you. But the thing is, not to go too far, otherwise Plantera will despawn, and that will not be fun. All right, Plantera is still angry. Uh, Plantera, why so cowardly now, all of a sudden? Oh, I can apparently shoot through blocks. I'll accept it. Alright, alright, alright. Here we go. Here's Plantera. Wow, I already did 5,000 damage to Plantera. Oh, my DPS is apparently through the roof. Wow, Plantera's health is draining like it's nobody's business. Plantera, why you no match? Alright, about two more hits should do it. Yep. There we go, Plantera is officially pissed. Not too difficult to clear, though. Those tentacles go down in a few hits. And Plantera is not firing projectiles anymore, making this fight a lot easier. Well, she doesn't occasionally fire the Sporo. That is not good. Don't get trapped in those water pits. And say goodbye, Plantera. You are no more. Alright, we got ourselves the Temple Key. We got ourselves a Annoying leaf lore. Why does it have to be bad prefixes? I was hitting a good one. Oh well. I think we're gonna end this episode here, maybe? Nope. Or in this episode, we could include the final fight. Heck yeah! Alright, next up, the golem. Our last battle. Not exactly last, I'm gonna do it in the pumpkin moon and frost moon, so don't you guys worry. See you guys in the uh, next fight. Here it is, guys. We're heading for the final battle. In we go. Alright, there's gonna be a lot of traps around here. I was gonna tell you guys that. There's gonna be plenty of traps around here. Being. Well, there's our first trap right there a spiky ball trap. I'll take those, please. Wooden spikes hurt more than iron spikes. How does that work? I'm not here to complain, I'm here to fight the golem. Ah, magic quiver. I don't need that. Alright. We have another trap there. Yep, super draw trap. I feel like I should break that. Yep. Get rid of here. Get the hell out of here. That's a spear trap, and those things can really hurt, so I'll take those. I want those. Ow. Apparently they were triggered by different things. I'll take that parasol, though. I'd like that. Alright, these guys are coming up here. They're not too happy about me raiding their place. Ah, I'm gonna throw the dynamite. Ow! Flying snakes can hurt a lot, I'll tell you guys that. Flying snakes are not an enemy to joke around with. Alright, we seem to have a lot of spiky ball traps. It's gonna be useful for those invasions. Just in case I might summon a uh, frost moon. Alright, we seem to get back here. What's that? That was a cursed torch, but it was off. Oh, I don't know now. I know now why that happened. Because I hit a freaking switch. I placed it on the wire, apparently. 
Falling Snake, you are apparently very susceptible to knockback, and I'll take that. I'll... I like enemies that are susceptible to knockback. I just stepped in a spiky ball trap. I am idiot. Ow. That spiky ball got to me. It's not nice. Why'd it get to me? Look at that, my cursed torches are shut off. I'll take those spiky ball traps. Flying snake, get out of here. Oh, I've taken a lot of damage. I should notice that. And look at that, we re-enable the torch. Using wires. No, Flying Snake, you go away. I know you can deal a lot of damage, but now's not the time. Back off. Back off. Get rid of those wooden spikes, they can hurt. Don't you dare. Don't you dare fly at me. Should have a blue flare there, because I don't want... Greeted by Flying Snakes. Get rid of those lizards. Oh god, I'm standing in spiky balls. Where those spiky balls even come from? I don't see any anywhere. Oh god, down to 60 health already? Those traps are meaner than I thought. I just drank a regular potion. Andre, what are those? Oh, I shot my flare right at the trap so I couldn't see it. That works. I'll take it though. Why is there a drop to drop torch here? I don't know. Wooden spikes, yeah. Wooden spikes hurt more than iron ones. I see you. Yeah, I gotta fool me. Can clearly see those big traps up there. Lizard Furnace, I'll take you. Chester's arrows, suspicious looking. Oh, you stay away from me, you lizard. No, thank you. I'm not taking any of your crap. Haha. -ha. Those wooden spikes don't look promising. They're placed in quite the peculiar place as well. Let me just destroy them all. We seem to be getting a lot of things here. We're gonna use a Scourge of the Corruptor when we do eventually get to the Golem. Ah, get rid of those flying snakes, I hate them. Not because they're snakes, but they're because of their high damage. I'm looting every single spiky ball trap around here. You're mine. I'll destroy you. Oh god. Oh god. So many wooden spikes. Yeah, iron spikes deal 1 damage to me. Wooden ones do 28. How does that work? Why is wood stronger than iron all of a sudden? Why is that? What is this sorcery? Oh, I have to be getting closer to the altar room. Just gonna say that. Why is there wood there? Oh, I see you. Bam, bam. Ah, good. I've disabled them both. Oh! As I said, guys, spear traps do a lot of damage. We just dealt 95. I'll take all your traps. see you up there. You're gonna fool me. Disable torch, enable torch. Ah, here we are. Th this is the altar room. This, this room is gonna have more traps than any other room out there, so make sure to clear this place out first. Those wooden spikes are gonna be troublesome when we fight the golem. Of the pressure plates first. I don't want to accidentally step on one. Would have sucked if I stepped on that one and that one. <sighs> oh, 
Alright, I'm gonna check how much recording time I got left. Alright, this episode's gonna have to end very soon. We got my Scourger the Corrupter. Everyone knows it's a good weapon. Just like that. Let's make a little setup here so the golem can't get to us. At least not that easily. Let's not make it too big though, because that could be problematic in the future. I should be sure to seal this place off as well. So he doesn't pass through there and cause some additional trouble. Alright, here we go. The final battle. Don't fail me now. Alright, here we go, here we go. There it is. This is the golem. This is what the Let's Play is all about. Killing the so-called sun god. We're doing our job pretty well. We're tearing down this mechanical fist real quickly. The Scourge of the Corruptor is doing a good job on destroying him. Where'd that fireball go off to? Oh, let's get both his fists though. Alright, he doesn't have, a f have any fists anymore. Alright, he's firing lasers. Alright, okay, alright, okay, alright, he's good at lasers now. Fire rate has been going up. He's stuck in that box and he can't get out of there. Let's get the head, get the head. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're so good at this. I can just tank, I can just tank the damage. It's over. It's over. It's over, guys. We did it. We did it! We did it! So this let's play is pretty much over, now it's just to mess around a little bit. Maybe with a few frost moons, maybe. Pumpkin moons. My god, guys. I thank you all so much for watching. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.